I got into MMA with one of my friends, um, Cliff Hall. Uh, me and him used to do like their grappling every now and then. And he um, said to come down to the local gym, Total Dojo at the time. Um, I went went down, ended up, you know, being pretty good at it. And before you know it, um, you know, I'm on, on Bellator's big stage. Um, when I first started, I never thought, you know, I'd be fighting for titles. I'd just done it more as a little, little hobby. Um, once I'd won a couple of fights and a couple of titles, then it was like, wow, you know, I could be um, pretty good at this. And it wasn't until I sort of got to Bellator, I was thinking, you know what, this is time for a world, world title. When I got the call from Bellator, I was buzzing, mate. You know, um, I didn't have to think twice about, you know, about the call. Um, I, as soon as my manager said to me, you know, um, do you want this world title fight? I was like, yes. You know, I, was, I was more than ready to take it. I train at my normal gym, BST, which right now, Guardian. I've been also trained down TSG in South End. Um, some of the names like Walter Garza, um, Daniel Bazotta, and Stavik Pekominu. So, yeah, I've trained some, some, some good lads. Um, I've won practically all my fights from other ground and pound for submission. So if it goes to the ground, I'm comfortable, if it stays there, I'm comfortable. You know, I've been training all aspects, so you know, I'm ready for wherever the fight comes. For the people that don't really know me and haven't given me a chance, you know, this is, this is my time to show them, you know, um, what Living Bassel is about, really. Um, I said, I don't know who I am, really. So a win over Newton and being the world champion after, um, they'll definitely open their eyes and they'll know who I am then.